if I could go back and, and look at where I was before I started climbing um, as a person and then take a personal inventory of where I'm at now, um, so much has changed other than, you know, the level of climb that I can do or the ability that I can have. These are DMM. Uh, they're like a Welsh company, I think. Well, it didn't work this morning, and then I like forcibly restarted it, and now the button's not really working. I think climbing gives me an escape, and I think it gives me, um, you know, a chance to get out of everything that is happening right now, of all the distractions, of all the stressors. Um, I'm a senior in college, I work almost full time, and so having that um, escape, like I said, is just, is really important to me, uh, but also having something that I can work toward, that I can have goals, that it motivates me to get out of the house on my off days and be in community, and I genuinely don't know um, who I would be or where I would be without it. It's going to happen to each of us. Already happened to me. <laughs> because I think younger Wes was really focused on the numbers, climbing harder, climbing stronger, climbing faster. Um, but now I tell him to slow down um, and, and relax a little bit and to appreciate the small things. I think I'm more just very, very thankful for the sport itself um, and for what it has given me um, with a community and with a motivation to just be a better human and to treat other people with respect and to be inclusive. Um, all of these little things that you would think have nothing to do with climbing, um, I've actually learned most of them from the community that I've been surrounded with.